in the industrial society, we went through getting more technology for more muscle power. And now we're getting technology for brain power, for intelligence. In fact, the internet is now becoming an AI net and intelligence is becoming maybe not a commodity, but easier to acquire. As Marshall McLuhan pointed out, first we invent technology and then it invents us, changes us. And now we're at the point to where this technology is coming to our turf, the thinking, the human turf, and thinking machines are different than communication machines. It's a difference in kind. Now this technology actually comes very close to what we are doing rather than being a tool to us. And that to me is both exciting because we can be mentally faster. We can beef up our brain power, but maybe this, this invention becomes our brain power, a convergence of humans and machines. If you're listening to open AI and other companies that are looking to bring about general intelligence, this is exactly their argument. The capacity to think, to understand, to reason is what they want to build. I think this idea of creating digital entities is taking it a step too far because it's no longer a tool. It's a new entity. And I'm all for the tools, but now this tool is becoming an entity itself, an alien intelligence. And so the question is, what is our future role? And can we control this alien intelligence, this general intelligence? And is this going to be good for us? I think part of the reason that this is happening is that we are in a very old economic paradigm that says whenever we can make the maximum amount of money, this is what we do. And if we do that with AI, it will not end well. If we were to have a larger concept, you know, what I call people, planet, purpose, prosperity, peace, then we can use AI to get to that goal. But if we just use, you know, to enrich, then I think it will crash terribly because we're going to do pretty bad things, including, you know, firing anyone that we can think of where any machine could get anywhere close. Uh, even if it's not close enough, for Sam Altman, he talks about basically soon having better doctors, better lawyers, better judges, better futurists than humans. And uh, so that part really worries me because I think it's, it speaks primarily to the money behind it rather than the actual purpose. We're just stuck in this endless loop of creating economic benefit. And it's very important to have economic benefit, but I don't think AI will be a good tool for creating a world of black boxes that creates economic benefit, then we are essentially truly useless, which is Jeffrey Hinton's argument.